It's winter 2020. I asked the pharmacist about a pack of vitamin D to somewhat relieve my winter depression. Both our faces are covered by COVID masks. I do not speak the local language, and I guess she cannot even notice that I'm speaking English. She does not understand what I'm saying. I do not understand her reply. I try to joke about it, and I have no idea if she's getting the joke, if she even knows that I'm joking. Are you smiling at me, or are you scowling? I pay, walk out to the street. My breath gets trapped inside the mask, blowing up and out to my cheeks. I walk out to the street on a cold winter day, and immediately my glasses are filled with steam. When I was younger, I protected myself from the world by opting to wear thick rimmed glasses. But now that I'm older and more confident, wishing to open myself to the world, I choose lighter frames. And then comes the mask and covers my eyes completely. I walk carefully outside, breathing slower to minimize the effect. I'm on a long trip, been in public transit for a few hours now, the mask always on. I can smell my own breath. The scent is amplified by the surgical mask, filling my nostrils. There is nothing normal about this, an aspect of myself I usually never notice. Like being in a room made of mirrors, like seeing myself from behind. I should have taken a fabric mask. In Vipassana meditation, they teach you that the road to insight passes in attention, and attention grows from observing actions you would usually do in a state of distraction. Your most basic bodily function, breathing, must be done without attention. How could you even live with intentional breathing? So you start there. Vipassana begins by defamiliarizing breathing itself. Perhaps it is no way to live with uncanny breathing, but uncanny breathing is an effective gateway to meditation. It's all coming back to me with the mask on. I feel each breath in all my senses, the heat and the steam, the taste and the smell, the sound of myself echoing between fabric and skin. They say that in the age of COVID, it is more crucial than ever to master the smize. Smize is a shorthand for smiling with your eyes, as coined by Tyra Banks in 2009. I am far from mastering the smize. I have no technique. I try, but I just look slightly angrier. When I actually smile, my eyes become narrow slits. Now, with my mouth and nose covered, Every smile is an almost complete closure of my face. You couldn't tell whether I'm smiling or scowling.